Hi, I'm Ananda Lewis. I help women thrive. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at I'm Ananda Lewis or on my new app, Elixir, available in all app stores right now. And you're watching the Connect Network. TV. Welcome back, Texas. Glad you joined us today. And like we said before the break here on The CW, at the Connect Network TV, we take our jobs seriously, okay? And always <laughs> aiming to just inspire and inform you with conversation today. And I know our next guest is going to do just that. Now, before I bring her up, I've got to tell you, not only did uh, the queen bee, Beyonce, but <laughs> also Oprah Winfrey both shouted out her brand, her business, help me welcome Miss Ebony from Kicking Mads to the show. Hey, hey girlfriend. Hey, hey. hey. rug dealer. Hi, Ebony. Yes, rug dealer. So, Ebony, talk about how you got started. How did how did you kick all of this off? So, I originally got started on accident, to be honest. So I was looking for a doormat. I like to express myself. I'm very expressive with the things I wear. So I looked up how to make one and I made it. And then from there, here we are here today. <laughs> so you have an amazing social media presence with over 120K followers on Instagram alone. How do you grow your community and set yourself apart from everyone else? So initially I heavily used influencers, but initially I was just, since I had such a unique product, I would use it. If you have a PO box in your bio, or if you liked one of my pictures, or if you just did something that I liked or enjoyed, if I, if you influenced me in any way, I'll send you a free mat. I was going around trying to get everybody that I can a free mm. doormat mm. and just having a unique product. I try to come up with most of my sayings and, I try to make it funny and unique so when you see so it, good. it's horrible. That is so smart. I feel like like working with influencers to elevate your brand and then vice versa, really sharing them on your page and giving love back and forth is so important, yeah. especially nowadays, because it really helps build a community as well. Learning about this, your business wasn't always booming. In fact, you oh, had gosh. to overcome hurricane Harvey, girl, you are an overcomer. How did that impact your business? Oh my gosh, yes. So before Hurricane Harvey, my business wasn't really a business. It was more like a side hustle. Like hmm. here and there, if someone want a doormat, I'll make it for them and we'll just go from there. I'm like mentally all over the place, but like I took hmm. that and I realized that I had something to put my all into and I like channeled that. All that confusion and hmm. all my mental confusion. I mm -hmm. put that into my business and that's how I turned my brand from like a side hustle into a business. Right. Turning it into the real thing. And I think for a lot of people in business, I think that, that there comes a reckoning, you know, mm -hmm. for, for only so long mm -hmm. will you be able to enjoy this and this particular unique opportunity until I get serious about what I have to offer. And now, you know, uh, and Oprah and Beyonce also remind <laughs> you that you yes. have a real life business. At what point did you realize that Okay, I'm going to start running this like a business. This is no longer a side hustle. Talk about that transition and what are some of the steps that you implemented in, um, you know, leveling up and, and, you know, like we all say, putting on our big girl panties. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I was posted on Beyonce's website, right before that, I quit my job. I wasn't, mm -hmm. my business wasn't booming when I quit my job, but something just told me like, you need to put more into this. So I quit my mm -hmm. job. I had to get everything together, like behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. It was so many things I had to change. Mm -hmm. So it was like I was forced into it. Yeah. And honestly, I'm still learning, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it's so much better than it used to be. I'm not as stressed. Like I have things are streamlined. It's just mm -hmm. a whole different world than when I was running as a side hustle. Mm, that's a message, y'all. That's a message. For the audience out there, um, Ebony, that where can they find you and follow you and order from you and do all things Ebony or Kiki Mats? <laughs> or both. So I'm on or both. I'm both. <laughs> yes. So I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And it's at Kiki Mats, K I C K Y M A T S. And I'm also, you can also visit my website, kikimats.com. Again, it's K I C K Y. M-A-T-S. 
Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Y'all get your mats. New year, new you, new <laughs> welcomes. You can add some personality into it now. It just doesn't have to say hello. You know, no. all of the things. Yeah. We've got it all. all right, y'all will stick with us. Uh, coming up next, we chat with Brittany Thompson about her amazing fitness class. It's new, it's different, and you won't want to miss it. Plus, later on, we talk with our favorite entertainer reporter Camille Cower over at the eSpot. We'll take a quick break and be right back.